former presidential candidate, South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg, is working with the Biden team, also the author of the new book, Trust, America's Best Chance. Uh, Mayor Pete, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, this is the closing argument, final days of this campaign. This debate's a big moment. Uh, what's the closing elevator pitch? It's that it doesn't have to be this bad, and we're going to build back better. And, you know, Joe Biden continues to be laser focused on making sure that we have solutions for American families, that we uh, dig out of the economic hole that has been created by the president's failed pandemic response, that we actually have a pandemic response to protect lives, that we no longer have a president contradicting experts, but rather making sure that a, a vaccine, once we have one, is distributed, making sure testing is free. Uh, all of the things that the American people want. Same with health care. The American people already agree with Joe Biden that the Affordable Care Act should be protected and expanded, not taken away like Republicans are trying to do in court. So tonight's a great opportunity, given that the American people already agree with Joe Biden on the big issues, to remind the people of that choice. And uh, hopefully there will be a chance to get that across despite uh, any noise created from President Trump's side of the, of the floor. So, Pete, uh, you heard some of the latest reporting on this Biden family finances and business issue. Those emails are coming forward, and we expect we're going to hear from Tony Bobulinski uh, at some point very soon. He's turning over that laptop to the FBI. So if, if you were in Hunter, if you were in Joe Biden, the former vice president's shoes tonight, how would you address that when the president likely brings it up? Well, the last time the president uh, uh, brought this up, uh, it backfired. The president attacked uh, someone for having an addiction. And millions of, an Amer of Americans who know and love people uh, who have battled addiction saw in the eyes of Joe Biden someone who uh, loves his son and somebody who uh, can relate to so many American families uh, as he conquered that. Uh, now, even though that was a failed strategy last time, it sounds like Donald Trump's preparing to uh, go for that again. I think because he would rather talk about the vice president's family than talk about our families, your families, American families. Uh, but Joe Biden's not the kind of person who's going to be sidetracked by that. I think what you're going to see is him you know, relentlessly returning to the fundamental question, which is how are our lives as Americans going to be made better when we have better leadership? Yeah, you're a former military intelligence officer. Uh, the original response from Biden's surrogates was that this was Russian disinformation. Uh, and now you have someone on the record who was on that email chain. You have the FBI and the DNI saying it was not Russian disinformation. Um, is it concerning at all? And is there an answer th about the authenticity of these emails that Joe Biden will offer today? Well, we don't know. As far as I can tell, even Fox News hasn't uh, confirmed the authenticity uh, of a lot of this stuff being thrown around there. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, what this really comes down to is desperation, right? I mean, does anybody really think after like a year and a half of obsessively trying to go after this and drum something up? And remember, even a Senate-led Republican panel, uh, or I should say Republican-led Senate panel, investigated this, uh, didn't find anything wrong with the vice president's actions. And yet 12 days out, I'm trying to whip something else up. Uh, that kind of desperation shows you just how rough things have got because of the president's inability to state any plan for what he's going to do as leader of this country for four more years. And it's unfortunate that he's really uh, taken down the honor of the people he surrounds himself with. I mean, I remember when Rudy Giuliani was uh, widely respected on both sides of the aisle. He's now been reduced to digital dumpster diving in order to get America looking at and talking about literally anything else than the president's failed record on dealing with the pandemic, the economic consequences, and his inability to state a vision for four more years. Oh, just to be clear, yeah. you're saying that this former lieutenant, Bob Alinsky, is lying about these emails and texts? Isn't that... It's not even clear. He, he, it's not even clear what he's claiming adds up to. Uh, they're just kind of saying, "Oh, there, there are questions." That which Joe is what Biden they love was to do. discussing all this business deals. Let's ask. If they want to make this about the business deals of a government official, let's talk about the president of the United States having a secret Chinese bank account. That's not like, you know, something somebody said that used to work with somebody related to the president in email. That's a matter of documented fact. And they won't even tell us what bank it's with. Does that bother Americans? 
I'm pretty sure it bothers Americans a lot more than what they're trying to whip up for the last 12 days of this election season. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to hear a bit more about both sides of that equation this evening, and we'll see how all of that plays out. I, I want to play one other thing for you, if I could, Mayor Pete. This is from Charlemagne the God mm -hmm. on, on the issue of the black vote in America. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. Trump is actually talking to young black male voters. He's directing ads towards them. They are a group that, you know, never get courted. I mean, black people don't get courted either as a whole, but that old democratic regime it speaks to old black men and they think everyone else in the black community the black family is just supposed to fall in line they know black women are, are going to show up regardless and you know they like i said they speak to older black men and they think the rest of us all speak the same language so trump is targeting young black males and promo and marketing it works the nominee largely because of the depth of the trust that he has earned with black Americans through his time in public life. And he's running against a president who told a white supremacist group to stand by. So at the end of the day, uh, he can try. I don't think it's going to get him very far.